Alright guys, on this video we're going to look at another butterfly guard technique. In this one, our partner is going to actually stand up this time instead of staying on both knees. So here, we're back in the butterfly guard. Um, he's grabbing both pants and he decides to stand up. Now of course, uh, it lo the longer we stay here, the more likely he's going to run around to a Torgondo type pass or something of that nature, right? So I want to have a hand on the collar and I want to post the opposite hand on the mat. I'm going to bring that foot to the outside of his leg and I'm just going to do a big shrimp motion and I'm going to drag him to the floor here. A lot of times both hands typically hit the mat. Most guys don't concede the position. It is possible, but then I'm going to come up to this position. Now, depending on his reaction, if he stays here, I may just turn him over and get to the top position here, just depending on what he does. Some guys, uh, when you do this really, really, really fast and they don't, they don't have time to base, they're going to turn and kind of concede the position. So when I step the leg to the outside and I drag really hard, it is not uncommon that he concedes and he falls on the bottom just from a momentum standpoint. All right, guys, one more time. From the opposite side, Rob stands up. I make sure I have a hand on the collar. You need this hand on the collar. So instead of the arm drag here, it's going to be the collar drag. Foot goes to the outside, hand on the mat. It's very important. It helps you get out quick. Drag to the floor. If he doesn't concede the position, you can come up to attack or bring the leg out, tap, and go to the side control position. All right, guys. So that is the collar drag from the butterfly guard position when your partner stands up. Really effective. I really like this technique. Um, if you enjoyed the videos, Give us a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe, and we'll see you on a future video.